a formula on my web page extracts unique distinct values using a condition. So simply copy the formula from my website and you can find the link in the description below. And then paste it to your workbook. And you need to change the cell references here. So the first cell reference, change that to the cell right above your current cell. And this cell here is the condition cell. And this one here is this. Change it to this column here because I want to compare this value with the values in this column. And, and this should point to this cell range here. And this should also point to this cell range here. And then press enter. So the formula uses this value here and looks for that value in this column here. And if it is a match, it returns the corresponding value on the same row. And if I copy this to cells below, you can see that it returns D, C and B. And D has an a value here that is equal to 1, and so has C. There are two C's here, but it returns only one instance. So it's a unique distinct list, this, this list here. And B also has two, uh, two values. And it returns only one value. Yeah. Only one B. So I'm going to use the county function. And the first argument points is a cell reference pointing to the cell right above this cell here. And this cell reference has two parts. And the first part needs to be locked to the cell here and the second part changes as I copy this formula to cells below uh, so this cell here is relative and then the second argument is the values here that I want to extract the unique distinct list from and now enter this as an array formula Control, Shift, and press Enter. Press and hold Control, Shift, and then press Enter once. And then expand the formula to cells below so you can see all the values in this array. And the county function uses the value up here and counts that value in this column here, in this column here, I mean. And there is no blank in this column, so it returns zero for each value here. And I want it to return true if it is zero. So an equal sign and a zero. And now the array is true, returns true. But I want, I only want the formula to return values that has category one here in this column. So I need another logical expression to compare this value here with the column here. And make it make both cell references locked. 
and you do that by clicking on the cell reference and then press control function no press function key f4 and then build an array formula and expand that and now this formula here tells us if this number here is equal to this number and it is true and this one is false so 2 is not equal to 1 and 1 is equal to 1 so it returns true and the last value is 2 so it returns false because 2 is not equal to 1 and now I can combine these two logical expressions and to do that you need to use parentheses and, uh, and then multiply it with this logical expression parenthesis ending parenthesis and enter it as an array formula and expand it so you can see all the values in this array and true multiplied with true is 1 true multiplied with false is 0 so for this to be true both values in the same row must return true so this array here tells us which values I can extract from this cell range here so why are all the values in this array true uh, when you copy the formula to cells below the first argument the cell reference in the first argument changes so in the second cell this one changes to j4 so it will keep track of previous values and you can see that here in this formula the cell reference here changes so it now contains the value D and if you want to see the array select this and press function key F9 and it will convert the values to boolean values and now you can see that it returns true for almost all values in the array except this second last one and whoa the second last one is d and d is here so this will avoid d so the formula won't return d again and this makes the formula returning unique distinct values and the lookup function is kind of special if you use a number that is larger in this case I'm going to use 2 and then in the second argument I'm going to copy the array formula so far and it's this one but I'm also going to divide it with 1 so 1 divided by the array And I need to use a parenthesis here, I believe. And in the third argument, I want to use a cell reference pointing to the items I want to return and make it an absolute cell reference. So select it, click on it, and press F4. and then press enter and you don't need to enter this as an array formula and i said look up the lookup function is special 
So what is happening here? If I copy the this array here and show you what happens. So one divided by one returns one, and one divided by zero returns an error because you can't divide a number with zero. And the lookup function is special because it ignores errors and it looks for the largest value smaller than two. And it it finds the last value in this array that is small, the largest value that is smaller than two. And in this case, it's this value here. And it returns the corresponding value, which is this value here. So it returns D up here. And I need to change the cell reference here. So it may keep track of previous values. And then copy the formula to cells below. And now you can see that it returns the same values as here.